Hello, I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, today I am making some vegetable soup. This soup is not gonna have any meat. We're just using vegetables. And here I have all my vegetables right here. I'm about to prep them and get them started to show you exactly how this is done. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I have an onion here, a red onion. I'm gonna be using this onion. And I have a pot of garlic. And I love garlic. I'm gonna use a whole pod of garlic and this onion. So let me go ahead and get these all, just these right now, the rest we'll do afterwards. But I just wanna get this started and I'll show you exactly how that is done. So through the magic, Magic perform magic for you guys. Look, you thought it was just a cook, right? You didn't know that I could perform magic too, huh? Okay, you ready for some more magic? This onion, we're gonna cut up because this is gonna saute to go in our soup. So put it down. This is how you perform this magic. Can't tell you all the secrets. <laughs> more magic, guys. So since our onions were magically cut up or chopped up, now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next with my garlic and my onion before I start on my other stuff over here. Okay guys, I'm gonna start my soup here with my onions and my garlic. So I am going to pour some olive oil in here, maybe about a quarter cup of olive oil in here to get started. To that, I'm going to go ahead and pour my garlic in there. And I'm going to put the onions in as well. I'm going to leave that for a few minutes to saute so that the onions and everything can become translucent. And while that is sauteing, I'm going to go ahead. That's on a low stove. I'm going to go ahead and get my potatoes all peeled up. Okay guys, so while our onions and garlic is over there on a low heat, I have a pumpkin. We're gonna be using some pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this pumpkin out. I'm gonna start by taking the seeds on the inside out, because we're not gonna use that. And then we're gonna cut this pumpkin up right here. I peel my potatoes, so I have a bowl over here with water that I just, I rinse everything in there. So I'm gonna rinse that. I have a, this is a sweet potato. The skin is red on the outside, but the inside, the skin is white. I'm going to peel this potato as well. So I'll put these potatoes in my water as well. It also stops it from turning, the water also stops it from oxidizing, from turning black, okay? From turning a dark color, so you can put it in some water. Over here, this is another potato I have. This is an orange potato. And we're gonna use this as well. This is gonna be a hearty soup. That when you have this soup, you're not gonna need anything else to go with this soup because it's gonna be very filling. I also have over here two English potatoes. Potato. I also have here a couple carrots. I actually have three carrots over here. So my carrots, I'm also gonna add to my water as well. And over here I have one um, corn, a fresh corn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this corn up in pieces as well. I also have here a half a cabbage we'll be using and I have some scallions and of course over here I have some fresh thyme so let me go ahead and rinse these and then come back and cut them up and show you how I'm gonna cut them up okay guys so everything is nice and washed and clean over here so I'm gonna cut these potatoes up and I'm gonna transfer them over there and I'm gonna cut them in small wedges like this. 
because I want them to be small pieces so they can cook quickly. So this is how I will be cutting everything up this way. So over here, this is how you will cut your vegetables up. And I've already, I cut some of the vegetables up. As you see in here, I left some back because it's a lot. So I'm not gonna use all of that, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. But this right now, we're gonna go over the stove now and we're gonna get this in the pot. Let's go. So I had my onions and my garlic sauteing over here and I lowered my stove so that it wouldn't burn. So now I'm going to put the stove up again to medium and I'm going to go ahead and add my, I have my pumpkin here. This is the yellow sweet potato. I have the white potato and I have the um, English potato here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these all in here. And carrots too. I forgot the carrots and I also got the carrots in here. So I'm going to add all those in there. And then I'm going to saute this in here a little bit. And I'm going to add a couple other things to this. I have some fresh thyme. I'm going to add the fresh thyme to that as well. And I am going to go ahead and cover my saucepan and leave it for a few minutes just so that is steaming so I can go on and cook the potatoes and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do next. This potato guys that is left back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up the same way I cut the potatoes up just now that you saw and I'm going to freeze it. Put in a Ziploc bag, the carrots, put all this in a Ziploc bag and I'm put it in the freezer and next time that you want to make a vegetable soup, all you have to do is take it down, let it come to room temperature and go ahead and cook it just the same way that I'm doing it right now, okay? Okay guys, so this is the potatoes and so on that was sauteing in here. Now to that, I'm going to add some water. I have two cups of water. Add two cups of water to that. And let this cook down for a little bit. So while that is cooking down with our two cups of water, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other stuff. Okay. So over here, I have the leftover potatoes. This is pumpkin, a carrot, the white potato, and so on that I cut up. And now I put it in this Ziploc bag, and I'm going to let all the air out of it. And then all you do is freeze this. And when you're in the mood for some soup again, you go ahead, you take this out and you have soup without having to go through the process, okay? Now, I have here, which is gonna be added to my soup, I have here a corn. This is a fresh corn. We're not gonna use the whole corn like this. We have to cut it up. So you're gonna need a big knife to cut this up. And you're gonna just gotta put a little bit of elbow grease on it and just cut it small like this. So everybody who um, is eating the soup will just get a small piece of corn in the soup is easy to handle. To the corn and everything else we have, we're gonna add a little bit of cabbage. Okay, so we shred our cabbage. You hold the cabbage like this and just take the knife and go down to the cabbage like this because we don't want big pieces of cabbage in there. This is easier to eat, I think, it's more palatable. And then you can go through the, take the knife and just go through it a little, a little bit like that. And now let's take this over to the saucepan and add it to our other vegetables. Let's go. It's starting to boil up a little bit. So now to that, I'm going to add my cabbage. I'll add the corn. Just put this over here, I'll add everything to it. Give it a good stir. And then cover the pot and let it continue to boil. You may have to add a little more water, but we will add that as time go on. 
Oh, looks good. But as you can see, it is nice and it's thick, right? So we need to add some more water on in here because we need more of a broth. After all, it is soup. So we need more of a broth, it is thick. So I have two more cups of water here. So I'm gonna add some more water to this. That's about a cup and a half more water, guys, that I added to that because it was a little bit thick. So now I'm going to let this come to a boil again and I will add now some seasoning because we didn't put any salt or anything yet in there to spice it up. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, guys, as the soup is about to come to an end, now there's a couple of things that we have to do. You see, this soup didn't take very long at all. I always forget to time it so you do exactly how many minutes. I'm gonna start trying to remember to do that because it didn't take long. But for the spices, we're not gonna add a lot of spices to it because trust me, the potatoes and everything in there is already flavored. Um, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm sure it tastes good. So to that, I have here one teaspoon of salt, but I'm gonna add this salt and then I'm gonna taste it to see if it's the correct amount of salt. I have a teaspoon of black pepper here. If you like a little spice and you want to heat it up a little bit, this is a little flakes, um, pepper flakes I have here. I also have here, guys, two Maggie cubes. These are, this is vegetable Maggie cubes to just flavor it up a little bit. And they're two small ones, and we're going to use this as well, okay? I also... The last minute I have here some scallions. You add your scallions in at the last minute. And I am going to chop these scallions up and I will add these scallions in there. And this is about it. I don't think I need to add anything else to that soup. I think that's good. We have a lot of vegetables in there. And I think that should be pretty good. Okay, guys. It has started to boil. Okay. So this is it. So now we're going to season it up a little bit since we didn't do that before. We can add a little black pepper in there and mix it in. Speak up. We're going to add some salt. This is half a this is 1 teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add my scallions to that. I have over here the two Maggie cubes. I'm going to kind of break those up in there. The flavor it a little bit. And I have a little pepper flakes. I'm just going to put a little pepper flakes in there. This is optional. You don't have to put pepper flakes in there. Only if you just want a little bit of spice. But that's optional. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and taste the soup and see if the flavor is just right or if I need to add something else to it. Oh my goodness, that is so good. I just tasted this soup, it is so good, oh my gosh. It is so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it boil a little longer since I just added the, um, the salt and so on to it. I'm just going to leave it in here for maybe like another two or three minutes and then I'm going to turn the stove off. It is good. All right, guys, soup is ready. Here is the soup. Nice and hot. Put the cover over here. And here it is. The soup ready yet? Excuse me. <laughs> You just smell the soup, right? It smells good. Oh, okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some in a bowl. And since Charles is here, he will taste it for you. I don't wanna taste it, I wanna eat it. It's hot. Guys, that's it. That's how you make vegetable soup. You can add any vegetable you like in there. You saw what I added to that, but you can add your own. You can add peas. You can add beans. You can add whatever you like and make it your own. And it tastes delicious. I tasted it early. It tastes really good. I'm going to have Charles taste it for you, and I will taste it myself. 
go ahead try that soup vegetable soup it's hot baby it's hot it's hot hard thanks <laughs> You always gotta do that to the whole bowl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't offer him anything, guys. Took the whole bowl. But guys, but I know I need to taste it for you guys to tell you exactly what it tastes like. Okay. It is it is it's very good. Sweetie. It's very good? Yes. Okay, so let me try it. A little spicy. A little sp oh, because I put some some pepper in there. Yes, but I like that. You like the pepper, right? I, mm -hmm. I figure you would. Okay. Guys, that is okay, soup. Let me just spoon back. It is delicious. There's a little kick to it, a little spice because I put a pepper, but you don't have to put that if you don't like it. Beautiful. It tastes wonderful. Go ahead and make yourself some vegetable soup, guys. I had fun. Whoops. I had fun making this for my family. I hope you have fun making some as well. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.